Hi, in this video, I will be making a large capacitor bank that will have the maximum energy discharge capability of 2000 joules, which is somewhere around 0.5 kilocalories. I have one capacitor at 300 volts DC, six capacitors at 285 volts DC, two capacitors at 235 volts DC. Since I am going to connect all of them in parallel, I will have to consider the lowest voltage for charging the bank which is 235 volts meaning even though I have capacitors rated at 285 volts or 300 volts, I will still have to charge them at 235 volts max because I don't want the smaller capacitors to go beyond 235 volts cause they might get damaged or worse explode. This big black base is from a Xerox machine and as you can see I am installing all the capacitors here. The total capacitance value of this bank is 73,600 microfarad and the base is large enough so that I can add a few more capacitors if I can get them in the future. The total energy of this bank can be calculated by the equation energy is equal to half CV square where C is for capacitance and V is for voltage rating of the capacitors. So the resultant value should be somewhere around 2000 joules, which is equivalent to 0.5 kilocalories.
Since I'm going to use the capacitor bank to perform spot welding, so I have to connect the discharge cables to the biggest capacitor with red being the positive and black being the negative. Although the charging cables can be connected to any capacitor of the bank as the charging current is considerably low. It's really important to be careful with the cable polarity in this case cause the damages could be severe. So anyways, here I'm going to charge the bank with a 250 volts DC converter with a 100 watts bulb in series for safety purposes. Here I will weld two nuts together with the help of a drill press. A multimeter has been connected to the capacitor bank to indicate its voltage and I'm going to use a 12 volts UPS battery to power up the setup. So the summary is battery is going to power up the inverter, the inverter is going to charge the capacitor bank with a bulb in series to reduce extreme voltage drops across the inverter. A 200 volt charge on the bank should be enough to do good welding. At the start Capacitors undergo short circuit so all the inverter voltage will be on the bulb which will glow really bright in the beginning but will start getting dim as the bank gains charge. Next level.